Okay, this is our auxiliary relay board for the remote control system, systems that are out in the market today. There's the receiver and here is the transmitter. This is a 12 channel one. Now, I'm using an example that we're working on. This would be the bottom of the base for the build up of the 1350 Enterprise 1701. We have our many different boards that we control with this, shields up, um, photon torpedoes with sound, deflector shield, and under base lighting as well as uh, a sound board in there for the music. Now, getting back uh, to the remote control system, uh, these, these, these guys are great, these 12 channels, I like to use the 12 because we have sometimes lots of outputs we need to control but the limitation is that it's either momentary action on all of them or toggle or latch and I believe my memory serves me right uh, you can do momentary on relays 1 through 6 and then um, latch on 7 through 12 so you can have uh, independent functionality on all relays so w what we did is we came up with this board here it's uh, four input four output so basically what we do is we end up using its uh, toggle mode excuse me not toggle momentary mode so it's like a momentary switch when you hit the the button on the transmitter uh, one of these relays will just go on and off quickly okay and that's momentary and that's great if we, we want to just um, toggle something like energize the sound recorder like I'm going to show you in a second or we need to put something on and let it stay on and that's what this board does it, it, it interprets a momentary and then latches that particular output on like for instance um, button number nine will energize one of those inputs okay and depending on how you wire it you can see the wiring coming from there from the moment from the relay uh, r related to number nine coming back to here and I saw that momentary and uh, it's just keeping that load on. Now it'll stay on forever and if we hit button 10 the next output stays on okay do button 11 the next one stays on do button 12 the next one stays on okay and um, so if we need to control four outputs uh, to be you know just fully on like that whatever it may be uh, you want to turn on lights or what have you or you need something to stay on this board will do it in conjunction with this remote that before could not do that on an individual basis so then I can just shut them all off there's 9, 10, 11 and 12 and um, we do have some we can use this remote control in its native system in its uh, momentary action if I hit uh, button number eight we will play a audio sound you can hear it's coming out of the speaker system okay and then we can just shut it down so you get the idea um, basically this board is there to augment the remote control or you can use it for anything else uh, it will work by itself with a momentary switch closure uh, there's as you can see there's four inputs numbered one two three and four and then this is one side of the switch that's the other side so there's four wires for each one okay and oh most importantly this little board we designed it so it can be utilized here's the power input you can use either AC or DC voltage now granted AC um, you can't go more than uh, 15 volts so anywhere from 8 to 15 volts AC or 8 to 15 volts DC and the polarity doesn't matter the way it's set up as a full wave uh, rectifier circuit in there so it gives you flexibility as long as you follow the guidelines anyway that is pretty much it thank you